Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on how to find foci. Foci is a plural form of focus, of course. It turned out to be a Latin word that means fireplace. Amazing amount of trivial stuff stuck in my head. All right, so finding this foci, obviously we're talking about conics. Conics is a section of uh, cone and a uh, intersection of cone and a plan. So what I have here is, uh, is uh, algebra, college algebra third edition. Uh, let's see where is the author. Here's the three authors. On the back of the book, I don't think it's particular which one, on the back of the book they conveniently listed all the important information, pertinent information. It's not focused uh, well here, but later on we'll have a better focused version uh, end of this clip. But anyway, on the bottom they have hyperbolas, listed ellipticals, uh, circles, and parabolas, and so on and so forth. So it's a lot of information trying to memorize, and over the years I've helped the students to simmer it down to a couple simple principles, then you can pocket it into your head without memorizing anything. So hopefully we can get uh, this into this clip so whoever the viewers are can benefit from that uh, few of principles. Let's take a look. I Xeroxed this one out. It's a duplicate of what we were saying before. Okay, so on the bottom section, they started with hyperbolas. As you can see, there's a lot of information depending on the hyperbola is facing east to west or up and down or south. Okay, so they gave you the form. And then uh, here's a formula for foci, but this is really complicated. What you notice is this. Regardless how the curve is facing up and down or left and right, what is important is that focus, or foci in our case, is always the largest number. Okay, so therefore, regardless of which case, as you can see, largest number is equal to square of the other two numbers. So foci here is the largest number. That's all you have to remember. Okay, when you're dealing with hyperbolas, focus or full size are outside or kind of outside the curve, but you get that it's outside of this box where we actually have the parameters A and Bs. Since full size is the largest number, then you use say square equal to A square plus B square regardless how the curve is facing. Okay, simple enough. Let's take a look at the next case. That's the ellipse. Okay. Now this is one of the most confusing things. Notice over here, depending on if it's A is bigger or B is bigger, and depending on how it's orientated, it looks so confusing until you recognize this. In this case here, the major X is here. Okay, major X on this case it was B. It doesn't really have to be B. You couldn't name it A. It doesn't really matter. What is matter is this. Now watch over here. Major X here is A. So what I'm trying to impress you with is this. If major X is the largest one, C is in the middle, but then what you can see is major squared is equal to minor squared plus C squared, or C is the foci. Okay, so pick the largest one you can see, and since focus, or actually foci, for the ellipse is inside the curve, it's smaller. You can't have what we had before, where C is equal to A squared plus B squared, because literally C is going to be less than, it's inside. Okay, so if you remember this principle, then you're set. Right, one more case to go, and then we're done with this section. Here I have a probably easiest one to deal with this section here. Okay. This is actually one of the easier one. The parabola has definition. The fo focus, there's only one, is inside, and here's direct directrix. So the distance between directrix and the vertex is one unit, we call it a P. And from the vertex to focus 
it's another unit of p. So using the formula of x squared equal to 4py or y squared equal to 4px, what you need to do is find a p first. And from the p, either you know in the vertex or directrix, you can find where focus is. All right, I hope this clip is clear. Couple important uh, but simple principles. Full size largest for hyperbola, full size inside for ellipse, so major becomes the largest, and then p the units away, it's equal distance for, her, for parabolas. All right, hope it's clear. And once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.